We're here at the LA Convention Center in California where we caught up with Rich Palumbo in this episode of Cool People. Hi, uh, my name is Rich Palumbo. I'm uh, Senior Director of Pharmacy Regulatory Affairs for Express Scripts. Besides that, I serve on the New Jersey Board of Pharmacy, and if that's not enough, I'm actually mayor of my town in a small coastal community in, in New Jersey. I grew up uh, in the very southern tip of New Jersey. Uh, my father owned a pharmacy, and uh, it's basically a seashore area. So um, I've had sand in my shoes for as long as I can remember, and uh, followed in the footsteps of my dad who became a pharmacist, but, uh, and uh, ultimately a mayor of, of a coastal community about 20 miles north of where I grew up. Uh, I started out as a, a biology major, and then ultimately wound up going to uh, Temple University in Philadelphia to get a pharmacy degree. I owned a pharmacy for uh, 14 years, uh, kind of moved into uh, more compliance things and ultimately wound up doing regulatory affairs. But about 15 years ago, uh, there was a little incident with recreation where the girls were being, well, they weren't being mistreated, but they didn't have the same facilities uh, as the, the boys did, uh, meaning they didn't have dugouts for their softball fields, they didn't have lights for their fields. Uh, so friends of mine kind of put me up to it and said, why don't you run, you know everybody, you, you know, because I had the pharmacy at the time, knew everybody. And um, try and help uh, the girls get. So that's really, I kind of won as a, as a whim. Uh, not as mayor, I was a council person for two years. Um, we did get lights, we did get dugouts for the girls, and uh, next thing I knew, I became mayor, and you know here I am 14 years later, uh, still serving. I like living in the community I live in. Um, I also have you know some fun, I'm, I'm head of the lifeguards, um, I'm head of emergency management and personnel. So, uh, you know, I get to work with the, the folks that take care of the town, and uh, it's a part-time job, and I have great staff, and, and they keep me informed uh, as I travel. I'm always getting emails and alerts as to what's going on. In fact, I get texts every time there's a, a call out of one of our fire departments or something. So I, I'm pretty well informed, uh, even in a travel mode. say that when I uh, reach the ripe old age of retirement, I'd like to uh, rent umbrellas and beach chairs on, on the beach. That would be, I think, the ultimate job, be able to be, uh, be at the beach on a daily basis, uh, you know, socialize with uh, some folks and, uh, you know, get out on the ocean as much as you can. I love to fish. Um, I ocean kayak a lot. Um, and uh, I actually like uh, collecting seashells. So uh, I... Uh, I'm fortunate to have a home on the west coast of Florida and collect a lot of shells there in the Caribbean and almost anywhere I go, if I have an opportunity to go to the beach, I try and find a shell that I don't have in my collection. Um, I do that, you know, it's funny, uh, I'm, I, I am such a beach advocate that uh, I do um, find total relaxation, even if it's an hour or two. Um, in the wintertime, I like walking on the beach um, whenever I get a chance, which isn't as often as I'd like. I, I you know, I hit Florida and, you know, get some fishing. Uh, that's what's so nice about fishing. That you, you know, you, you have cell phones that if you needed to, you could use them, but we pretty much uh, put them on, uh, you know, vibrate and uh, don't don't answer them while we're out there. So it's kind of secluded and it's very relaxing. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm one of these uh, people that seem to have a lot of energy and uh, I don't very, sleep very much, so um, I'm able to, to uh, multitask and a lot of things done uh, in what you would call daylight, nightlight hours. see the devastation, especially it took place in New Orleans and, and even into the southern uh, 
know, Paris's Clackham and St. Bernard's, uh, you realize that uh, you come back and, and your town isn't prepared enough. So we really put a lot of emergency things in place. We have reverse 911 calls. We had uh, people on uh, as text messages. Uh, we literally had uh, most of the people evacuated from the Barrow Island. About 25 um, people stayed in their homes. Uh, they had not experienced the kind of flooding that came along with Sandy in, in many, many years. Uh, thought they could ride the storm out. And in fact, in the middle of the storm, we had to send over what they call a deuce and a half truck, these big old army uh, vehicles, uh, to get in there and, and get some of the, of the people out because um, they really uh, became you know, very frightened as the water can continue to rise in their first floor of their homes. I think um, pharmacy still has a lot to offer. Um, I, I've enjoyed doing that. I've, I've enjoyed uh, being involved with uh, the regulatory end uh, on the board, uh, helping to create um, new regulations to allow for a lot of technology and automation. Um, and, and I've enjoyed serving as mayor of my town. Um, you know, it, it's always good to, um, to get back to the community that you enjoy uh, living in. And uh, I look forward to sitting on what they call the Mayor's Beach uh, every weekend. So it's a lot of fun on, on Vincent Avenue. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't coin it, but I live by it. <laughs>